Right, everybody. Good morning, y'all. It's been a while. Two months to be exact. It's a little bit longer than I was expecting. Anyway, time to explore Georgia, episode 16. I'm gonna be following one of these arrows. Where I'm gonna end up, I don't know, but let's just go, shall we? So I set off towards north with the idea to fully explore Georgia and Armenia and quickly realized that without my action cams I'm only able to get quite awful wobbly footage. I continue nonetheless trying to get some nice drive-by shots. So it's about time to leave the city now. Bye bye Batumi! Bye bye! Was an honor! But before reaching the next town the realization of my current situation started to settle in and my motivation to film started to fade away. I cycled a few more days before making one of the harder decisions on this trip. Ah, so here we are in Georgia, in the middle of Georgia, in Martvili, exact to be exact. Sitting in a river and thinking about my life and what will be coming up next. And in the past few days, I've had an epiphany. While I love the freedom of this journey, it's become clear that my travels are mostly driven by content creation. Making these videos takes a huge amount of time and effort. Episodes 14 and 15, for example, both took me over a week to finish. And when you're aiming for one video a week, there is barely time left to cycle, film, edit and handle all the other tasks let alone enjoy the journey itself. I have noticed this most when traveling with others, like the French group who I traveled with earlier this year. While they explored the cities, I was stuck in a restaurant editing. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love making these videos and I love sharing the ride with you and taking you along, along the adventure. But the pressure to constantly think about what and how and where to film and to develop a storyline is really, really intense. And no, I am not interested in pumping out daily reels just for the sake of it. I want my videos something that I can look back on with pride. A story worth watching, not just a collection of uh, yeah, I've been there, done that snippets. That's, that's just not what I want. Also, there's a lot of stuff happening in and around my life, which I'd like to keep private. But I'll say this, no matter how much you try to give up your life, you just cannot give up one thing, and that's family. And for this reason, and a few others, I'll be returning to Switzerland for winter. My mind is very much preoccupied with this right now. The future of my journey and this channel is quite uncertain. After two years of traveling, I have realized that I had little to no opportunity to truly enjoy it. Adding to that, my action cameras have died, making it impossible to capture the spontaneous footage that we all want and need. Even my Sony camera lenses are falling apart and replacing them isn't an option right now. On top of all that, the solitude of solo traveling is starting to wear me down badly. I want to share moments with others on the road without always holding a camera in someone's face. So, I have decided that this will be my last video, for now at least. I'll continue cycling until winter, mostly through Georgia and maybe even Armenia, to enjoy the pure essence of cycle touring without the stress of content creation. I really hope you can understand these circumstances and I am deeply grateful for everyone who has supported me on this crazy adventure. Without you, much of this journey wouldn't have been possible at all. And if all goes well, I might be back on the road next year with fresh energy and new adventures. And if not, I at, at least I'll have some time to enjoy the pure essence of cycle touring for myself. Until then, thanks for watching and remember, always keep trying, keep fighting and keep riding. See ya! It's kind of an emotional moment, isn't it? It is kind of, whoa, kind of emotional. <laughs>